put this in here for later. That's right, you could put whatever kind of treasure you want in there. You know, this is a very special week because not only is it our first ever lab-tested Volvo, but Volvo has played a very special part in Andy's life. Because Andy has essentially grown up in a Volvo. Six and a half years ago when we picked Andy up and brought her home for the first time, she was in an XC60. And as time went by and we needed more space, well, out with the 60 and hello with the XC90. And while we've had some great memories in our Volvo across the years, and yes, we know it's dog friendly. Well, what makes this 2020 XC90 T8 inscription so special? And is it really all that different from our 2016 XC90 T6 inscription? Well, let's test it out. And if you haven't done so already, we would love it if you would subscribe. So one of the biggest changes, seating and space. Now you have the option for captain's chairs, which is a huge game changer. And look at the difference between our personal XC90 with a 40-20-40 split. And yes, you miss out on this middle seat, but I think the open concept is totally worth it. And who needs to really sit in this middle anyway? You got two extra back there. Now I do feel the seats could be a tad bit wider and I wish there was an armrest. I feel like I want to lean, right Andy? But aside from that, they are comfortable, they're heated in here, and I love that I could just reach over and give Andy a good old pet. Leg room is great, seats slide back and forth and recline. Manual, but these are nice too, but I gotta compare something in hours. Look at the foot space. See how I can place something long in the footwell? Well, not so much in here because you have a cup holder in the middle. While it's nice and handy, I'm afraid if I start loading my stuff in, I'm actually gonna crack this. In my opinion, it would have been a smarter design if you could push that cup holder in to make it disappear or have them fold in and out of these seats, kind of like how we saw on the Lexus RX 450 HL. But on the positive, a look at this huge aisle with this configuration. Not gonna find that in ours. I am amazed with this width. I'm pretty sure you could fit a small bed and a dog right here. And when I'm lugging around my gear, this has been a great spot. I don't have to use up the floor space. Plus it makes her easy access to that third row without having to move around these seats. Not gonna see that with that 40-20-40 configuration. Let me pop these suckers up so you can see them. Now it's rare when we use the third row in our XC90, so I kind of forgot how nice these actually feel. Now leg room isn't ginormous back here, but when this seat is pushed all the way up, I actually have plenty of space. And I know my legs aren't the longest, but even in this seat pushed all the way back, I can still get my feet nuzzled underneath the seat and my knees aren't even touching. And because of this configuration, you could also extend your legs into the center aisle if you needed to. Also, I've been realizing it's very easy to get these seats down. And for whatever reason, I always struggle with our 40-20-40 seats. I don't know why, but it's easier in here. Let me get Andy so you can see what it looks like with a large dog and one seat up. So as you can see, if I needed this seat, Andy could still fit back here. I'd probably have to get a little bit smaller of a bed though. 
But the huge plus back here are the third row vents. That was a big selling feature for us. It just blows right in her face. It is perfect for dogs. And the airflow will still pump when both seats are down, which is not always the case. Now, another thing that makes this Volvo so great is when you plop down all these seats. Not only are they flat flush, but they are lower. Sometimes in other SUVs, Andy's propped up so high, but in here, she's much lower, which makes her feel that much more grounded and comfortable when riding around. Now for this price point, I would appreciate buttons to lower and raise these seats, but at least when they're down, the space is incredible. Wow. Now from personal experience, we've moved a few times since owning the XC90, and I gotta be honest with you, I have been able to fit a ton of things back there, from a small dining room table, the dining room chairs, a desk, all of Andy's stuff. I even filled it with space bags from floor to ceiling. It was the craziest thing ever. So the space, it's legit. Now Volvo makes one nice carpet, which means it's gonna vacuum a lot easier, but I gotta show you what we installed in our XC90. And check this out right here. It's not a blanket. Oh no, it's Volvo's dirt cover. Oh yeah, now we installed this back when we first got this XC90 and this has been one of the best accessories we have ever purchased for a vehicle. And normally I would not be brushing my dog inside a car, but because of this cargo cover, I don't have to worry about dog hair sticking to the rug. Ready? <laughs> ha! Bye dog hair! <laughs> <laughs> and while this works great in here, it's not going to fit the same over there because this was designed for a 40-20-40 split. And according to their website, it doesn't look like they have an option for captain's chairs. Could you make it work? Yeah, but then you're going to have to fold the center underneath. And I feel like for that price point, you should have a cover that fits, I'm going to say it, perfectly. But the best feature? Oh yeah, this baby lowers. Andy doesn't even need a running start to get in here solo. It also readjusts after you close the door. Oh, and the other thing, you have a little underfloor storage and because this is a plug-in hybrid, your charging cable fits in it. And when all the seats are up, you can still fit a ton of grocery bags back here, plus some little compartments and storage splattered around this ride. And when you go to the front, it looks almost identical to our 2016 model, but there are some changes. Remember, this is the inscription model, and this also happens to have the luxury package. So you get things like a leather covered sun visor, leather grip handles, a new buck headliner, which is absolutely beautiful, very soft, feels like Alcantara, plus some other stuff. But one of the big changes, boop, the gear shifter. Aura 4 Sweden, I think that's how you pronounce it, crystal gear shifter. Not only does it look different from our T6, but it also functions differently. Two taps back for drive, two taps forward for reverse, press P for park. Definitely a little weird if you're used to a T6, but I got used to it pretty quickly. The other thing that's different is this engine start stop knob. It looks the same, but in the T6, so you go to the right for on, a left for off. In here, you go to the right for both on and off. Overall though, the walnut wood trim, the beautiful leather, very elegant. Which it better be for this price point because this thing is expensive. Now, if you're the type that hates clutter and you really don't like dedicated buttons, then you're gonna love it up here. It is very woohoo touch centric. Pretty much everything operates via touchscreen. So this system is identical to what we have. I gotta be honest with you, it's a lot to learn. There is a ton embedded in here, a lot. Spend time with it, get to know it. I pretty much just stick to Apple CarPlay. It's not a huge display though. It doesn't take up the whole thing. It's just this section right here. Like our T6, this has the upgraded sound system, Bowers and Wilkins, and it is ballin'. It sounds incredible. My favorite is Concert Hall. It makes anything sound a million times better. And the other thing before we hop on the road, look how easy it is to get your rear climate up and going. Second and third row. There you go, Andy. So when driving this thing, first impressions, this T8 feels way more responsive than our T6. 
Now this is a plug-in hybrid and you get 400 horsepower and 472 pound-feet of torque. Whereas our T6 is more like 316 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. Now similar to the Porsche Cayenne that we did last week, you can also charge the battery when you're driving or you can plug it in. The port is right here up front. Now, from a pet perspective, Andy seems just at home back there, very comfortable, but I think she's probably more comfortable given the fact that she can see forward and all that natural light coming from that pano moonroof. Now, when it comes to Volvo, I often associate the word safety with it, and this thing is loaded with safety features, plus the camera angles are extensive, which is really helpful when you're navigating a tight spot or you're getting close to a curb and you want that good 360 view. So rather than ramble on and on about all the features, you can go to the site, check it out for yourself. I thought it would be more fun to pick one and put it to the test. But first, we gotta go home and get some props. So we happen to live in an area that have a lot of deer. And I can't help but wonder, what if Bambi strolls onto the middle of the road? What's gonna happen, huh? Let's test out this collision avoidance system. From the Volvo website, collision warning system. Collision warning and auto brake and cyclist and pedestrian protection is an aid to assist the driver when there is a risk of colliding with a pedestrian, cyclist, or a vehicle. Ah, my person just fell. I gotta go fix her. Dang it. I just need one good performance from you. All right, I gotta drive at least three miles an hour. Oh, it works! <laughs> yes, automatic intervention, city safety. And my deer is dead. Okay. Well, that was definitely an experience and I'm happy to say it did work. Now, even though it didn't work 100% of the time, I don't really think these are the subjects of Volvo had in mind when they were designing it, but it definitely gives you a little peace of mind. It worked on a plastic doll. Anyway, in addition to safety, Volvo also makes a dog harness. And I would love for Andy to wear one and sit on a seat, but if you're familiar with our videos, Andy is so afraid to sit on a seat. I can't even get her through a side door. If you have any tips on how to help Andy overcome this fear of sitting on a seat, let me know. Maybe we can hook up and do a video together. In the meantime, our top five doggo features are one, the ease of loading your fur kid in and out of that rear. Gotta love the air suspension. Two, the open concept you get with captain's chairs. Way better than our 40-20-40 split. Three, the smooth and comfortable riding experience. Four, third row climate vents that work when the seats are down and five second row windows that go down all the way. Big thanks to Volvo for letting us lab test this beautiful 2020 XC90. Andy, is it lab approved? Oh yeah, totally lab approved. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so you know when our video next week goes live and you can be one of the first. Hey, what you looking? To see Andy, we'll see you next time, bye.